Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe. Can I get a hug? Anyways, today we're doing this. I wanted to uh, play with some new things, I guess, and do white eyeliner in a tutorial. I actually practiced this the day before when I did like a real TikTok, which was very weird. But anyways, this is the makeup I had in it. Yeah, you know, just passing time. Thought I'd pull out the blue again. And uh, if you want to see how to get the look, please stay tuned. So figgity, first up, I'm gonna go in with the milk makeup vegan milk moisturizer and I'm gonna smooth that on my skin is so dry and I keep getting eczema patches lately so I have some around my mouth but this is really nice and gentle it's not scented and I'm just blending it into my skin and then next up I'm going to take the iconic London prep set glow it's gorgeous just give it a little shake to activate those little pearlies and I'm gonna put that on all over my face this also feels pretty hydrating and it has that pearl I like to have on I really 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 went for it and got it all over my body but just blend it into your chest why not i've been putting self tanner on also but tanning salons are opening up soon here i'm really excited anyways i'm gonna get the little mix in and let that mix in with the moisturizer just to give my skin a little glow now i'm gonna go in with the pat mcgrath sublime perfection foundation in medium 20 i cannot wait till i'm medium deep 22 again but i'm just gonna blend that on all over my face this gives a really nice glow and you can layer it up to have more coverage i've talked about this plenty of times you know that I'm obsessed with this all over on the forehead and tangs and you can go in with a second layer if you want next up with the Pat McGrath Labs concealer this one is in medium 10 it's a peach tone but it's really great for highlighting on my skin without getting that kind of yellowy look I can't do super well with uh, yellow colors as a highlight because it ends up looking very olive on me maybe because my face is pretty pale in comparison to my body so it just shows up color more so I find if I go with peach it blends into my foundation a little bit better just because I tend to go for a warmer foundation but I'm just kind of putting it on all over I want highlight and then I'm I'm gonna go in with the medium 16 it's peach with a little bit of golden but I wanted a little bit of a darker color with some peach right underneath my eyes just to color correct the kind of purpley shade I have underneath my eyes and I'm just gonna put on some more concealer I, I just really went for it on the concealer today but this blends really well I didn't do a super thick layer of foundation I want to really work on contouring so I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender sponge and I'm just gonna tap 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 that all in underneath my eyes following the shape that we created and I did that kind of lifted upward shape so I'm almost lifting it to where the top of my ear is that'll really give a nice high angled cheekbone if you really want to lift your face I always go instead of a straight line I really try and pull it up I'm also just gonna go along my jawline just because I have a little bit of a, a eczema rash on one side that I want to conceal and I don't want to just conceal on one side and have it be light so I always like to do the same thing on both sides so it's balanced even if it's just a little bit and then of course I'm gonna blend it out in the center of my forehead I like to use a little bit of a darker foundation and a very light concealer because it'll help when you're doing your contour it'll help it blend in a little bit better using a really light concealer mixed with a darker foundation will give you a more of a contour defined look without having to use a bunch of dark powder to, to get your contour and that's why I can get away with just using bronzer as my contour because as you can see it's a little bit contour looking right now I'm gonna do brows so I wanted to try this one out this is the benefit cosmetics brow styler in the shade 4.5 so one end is a little brow spiky thing and the other side is a powder that's a little bit lighter but I thought I'd give it a go I've been using the same one for so long that I thought it'd be nice to kind of try something different and this would be a little bit easier than pulling out a brush and a little pot which I've been used to for so long I thought I'd switch it up and still get my you know straight eye breezy so same thing I do with the brush I'm just kind of pulling it out extending it following that same shape that we did the highlight with with the concealer pulling it up pretty high at the end so it makes our face look higher always been a fan of the, the long straight brow and I'm just kind of working in the same direction that the hair grows using different levels of pressure if I want to have a little bit of a light stroke I'll angle it and use less pressure if I want it a little bit darker or if I'm filling in any gaps in my brows I'll push a little bit harder once you've got the desired shape you can go in and add a little bit more strokies next up with the other side I'm just going to lightly fill in the gaps with the powder side I don't know if you can see it that well but it won't take away fully from the the swipes that we did because this powder is lighter than the other side which I think is genius because if you just want to fill in any gaps if you're like me and you have 12 eyebrow hairs um this is a good way to kind of fill it in 
Next up with the Benefit Give Me Brow, this is in the shade 3, so it's a darker one. So this will help my baby hair brows stay baby brow hairs stay in place so I'm just gonna go up from the bottom row of hair and kind of swipe them into place and it doesn't have to be super neat because I'm gonna clean it up in just a moment We're just combing it through you know and then if you feel feel like when you've combed them you see any more gaps you can go in with the brow styler again and just deepen it in any little area that you might have missed because now your eyebrows are combed in the direction you need you probably should comb them beforehand but I did not then I'm gonna head back in with my concealer. I always mix it with a little bit of foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and take a smooth snatching brush and just clean up underneath the brow, keep them real straight and correct any little dips I made. But these, these were pretty straight today, so. I also like to drag it over my eyelid just to act as a little base, but I usually blend it out later on with a beauty blender. It's so it's nice and smooth. And do the same thing on the top. I've been opening up the gap in between my brows a little bit too, just to make them look, they always get so close together. I don't know, I guess I got close together eyebrows, but it's just a lot when you draw them out as far as I do. So anyways, next up with the Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie Bronzer. I accidentally, I didn't know it wasn't recording, but I did one eye. Good thing I have two eyes, I can do the other side. So I'm just taking a blending brush. This is the Morphe 519, I believe I'll write in the description box. And I'm just pulling it out high, like I said a couple videos ago, right up to the temples. And it's okay if it's not perfect because we can sculpt it out with a beauty blender, a little bit of concealer. I feel like concealer is playing a major role in this look and uh, it's okay if you want to go crazy, you could just clean it up after. But that'll just help to kind of snatch the face. I like bronzer as my first transition shade. Um, it just makes all the eyeshadows blend in nicely. It's mixed up with the Hank and Henry Beauty Living in Color Palette. I'm gonna go into the orangey kind of shade there. And I'm just gonna circle that right on the outer part of my eye on the lid, so the outer V. And I'm blending it in into that transition shade with the bronzer we did a second ago. I'm gonna do that on the inner corners of my eyes too, leaving that middle part a little bit bare. And we're gonna move on right away. I'm gonna take a little bit of the, my concealer again. With my finger, I'm just gonna tap it in the center in that kind of bare space we left and then I'll just blend it in a little bit on both sides. Again, this was a look that was done in layers. We're using concealer for so many things. Next up with this purpley kind of brownie shade, I'm choosing. Oh yeah, we're going with the purpley brownie shade. I'm going to do that a little bit tighter using a smaller brush. This is a brush from Smith Cosmetics. We've done two layers of transition colors. We did the bronzer, that orangey color. We can go in with this kind of chocolate burgundy brown color just to sharpen it up a little bit. We're doing it in layers just like with our contours to add more depth, a little bit more color. You feel me? And I'm just going to blend it in. But that center part is staying nice and bright. I'm circling it in. I went back in with a little bit more of that orangey color and I'm just going to blend it over top. Now I'm gonna get my concealer on my hand. I'm going to take my snatching brush again, so this the lighter of the two. So when I did my brows, I did the darker shade, but now I'm going in with the lighter one because I wanted to really stand out. And I'm just going to sculpt out right over the fold of my eye. I'm gonna pull it in into the inner corners, kind of elongate a little bit, but I'm seeing where my eye naturally creases or where I'd like to fold. If you have more deep set eyes, you can still go just above. And if you have more of a hooded eye, you can just Tilt your head slightly back and see where the creases go just above that a little bit higher for a similar look but I just like to see where it kind of has a natural wrinkle or fold my I have a lot of space but not a lot of eyelids so I usually keep it down a little bit I find if I go too high I can look crazy so I'm just going just above where the crease is so it's like a little peekaboo of that and following the same direction that my eyebrow goes out could be a good little guideline if you're doing anything straight and lifted like this but that's usually what I do so now we got our nice little swoop to whoop. I'm gonna go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills opaque white liner. These, I'm happy that I played with it the night before because when I first did it, I think I put the liner too close to my lash line. So now when I'm doing this, I'm gonna leave the tiniest little line above my lash line so that when I put on my mascara, if my eyes water, it, it'll run because it's activated by water. So I'm trying to leave like literally a millimeter or two of space between the line and my lash line just because the lashes are going to cover it up anyways. And then when I went and pinched my lash and the fake lash together, it became all milky gray mixed with my ma mascara. It's just a mess. So I'm trying my hardest not to get it on my lashes. I can connect it in the inner parts afterwards, but I'm just lightly tapping. I also have curly eyelashes that are short, so I'm trying to bring my finger up 
above my lashes because it was a freaking mess getting it on with my mascara so leaving that small little tiny 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 line makes the world of a difference because this was a lot easier to put on take off and then you can always sticking it up too afterwards you want to be able to see it over your false lashes anyways if we're going to do all this work might as well see it so i'm just pulling it out again like i said i'm following the line of the concealer line which was following the line of my eyebrow line which is following the line of my contour line like everything's all going into the same direction and that's what i'm aiming for as a good guideline so i'm just sticking out up the ends and I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker on the top just so that you can see it over top of my false lashes I'm about to put on and I'm just going back and forth to kind of smooth it out and then you can take your concealer brush again to clean it up on the bottom if you made any little boo-boos or if you just want it to look nice and sharp next step with concealer just to kind of make that empty space in the center look a little bit more bold I didn't connect it with the line we did but I just decided to do that and uh, blend it out but I just thought it'd be cool for dimension so I just took whatever is kind of left over on my brush and, and, and highlighted it again because I feel like I blended it too much or you couldn't see it as much I, I don't know if that's I don't know what it means I just did it <laughs> and I did it on the other side too so next up we've got I'm gonna go back in with the orange shade that we used in the beginning just to kind of blend it out um, I wanted to make the transition look a little bit more bold so but it kind of gave it a cool orangey look and then I'm gonna take that same color and drag it right underneath the white eyeliner and along my bottom lashes just cuz that's what we feel like doing today but following that same line we've been following all day talking about angles I'm gonna take the Mac extend and play mascara um, in giga black so I like this especially for something like this where it has a very small brush head so you can get into your lashes nice and close this is where I was real grateful I left that little tiny bit of a line and you can't even see it but it makes such a big difference because if you're going right on top of your lash line with that white eyeliner you're gonna make your mascara gray when you dip it back in so doing it like this made it very handy to get in nice and close works like a waterproof but it actually comes off with warm water so even if you get watery eyes it won't bleed or anything so I think that would be a good combination for this white eyeliner that's activated by water because the two won't mix next up I'm going to take the Hashtag snob lashes by baddie B lashes. You can use coupon code Sandra to get a discount and also I don't know if you guys know but the contact lenses I wear they are Desio eyes and they have a coupon code for me too and that coupon code Sandra if you want to save on these lenses They're my favorite. They're the ones I wear all the time for years and they're the most comfortable ones um, Anyways back to mascara or lashes just gonna give it a little pinch together I'm just sliding it down as close as I can trying to ru not ruin my little look. We just did Ugh, I got it a little bit on there But I can just take a tiny bit of the white eyeliner and touch it up lightly afterwards now that our lashes are on I'm gonna go in with the dark deep mineralized skin finish by Mac and we're gonna do a generous bronze because we like to be bronze medallions over here pushing the base of the brush into the hollows on my cheeks and letting the fluffy part the very top blend it out and I'm also gonna go along my jawline I want to look bronze and contoured then I'm gonna take the bronzer and a Smith brush, the Smith contour brush. I'm gonna go right along the sides of my nose and I'm just gonna blend it down and then I will go underneath to turn it up a little bit and then I've been scrunching my nose, doing the little dip just above my nose so it looks a little bit more round. I don't wanna just have a pinch nose, I want a button nose, you feel me? And then you can take off a little bit on the tip if you went too far. Next up with the liner again, I'm just going to pull in the inner corners of my eye line and just kind of do a little bit of a dramatic elongated eye look. This is what I wanted to do after my lashes because I wanted to see if I needed to touch up any area. I think we got it, it's okay, hopefully. We'll see how it looks. Then I'm gonna take that same mascara and I'm gonna do my bottom lashes nice and easy, keeping it kind of spiky like the top lashes. And I'm just going to touch up the lashes anywhere I might have got it gray from the liner. With the Pat McGrath Labs Sublime Highlight Trio, I'm going to go into the gold and the bronze shades. I'm going to put that on the very highest points of my face. I usually go a little bit pinky with highlighter, but today I wanted it to be very gold with my blue hair. And this kind of orangey look, I thought it'd be kind of toy. So that's I'm only going into those two, but a lot of times I like to mix the bronze and the pink. I'm going to go above the top lip, down the center of the nose, on the very tip of my nose. And we're going to be golden you feel me and just above the brow too just to carry through that sheen next up in the covergirl exhibitionist lipstick i'm going to take the tempting toffee shade i'm putting that all over the lips 
And then I'm gonna go in with the Exhibitionist Lipstick in Dolce de Leche and put that right in the center just to give a little dimension, you know? So it's like a soft, soft, soft little ombre. And then I'm gonna take off my little headband, but I forgot to do blush, so I did the CoverGirl Peach Punch Blush and I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks. Kind of got a little bit of a gold sheen to it too, so I thought it'd work well with this look. So that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know. There's a blue hole. Blue hair in my nose probably the whole time I was doing my intro, huh? Whatever. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. Love yourself. Stay pretty. Working on the next vlog. You know what it is. We're going to do a cooking tour. Oh. Love you so much. Bye. Stay safe. Stay pretty. I don't even know if I did my intro right. Okay, here we go. Let's start from the top. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. Love yourself. Stay pretty. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care. Love you. Bye. Just like to find ways to be awkward. You feel me? <laughs>